What's going on everybody? Welcome back. So we're going to do another little fun one that I wanted to do. Um, we're going to open up some boxes and packs from Sun and Moon era. Um, this, this one right here, the Luminous Frost theme deck, Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. I was actually able to pick this up for 15 bucks, um, which, and that's at Walgreens. They had a few different ones. They had, I believe, I'm trying to think, I think they had the Fighty one or the Lin Rock one. Um, but yeah, we're just going to see what's in them. Just because if it's somebody who's just now getting into, well, this actually tells you what's in it. So all the cards are actually on there um, as far as how many you get of each. Obviously, it's a, a theme deck, so it's building a deck for you. Um, but we're going to jump in there. Open this up here. So it looks like we got a nice little coin. Throw that to the side. Then we got the Alone Nine Ninetales. Man, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like all all the holographics, like the older holog um, hollow cards, they're just they're just definitely made different and way more special. Like they just, they sparkle a lot more than normal. Um, there's a code card for you guys. Throw that away. Um, there's the deck. We'll get in that a little bit here. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, it just looks like it's uh, the rules and everything. And it gives you the whole checklist of sun and moon burden shadows, um, which I don't do that anymore. So my checklist, I actually use Pulky Lector. Um, I don't know if you guys use it or not. And then we got some damage counters and stuff. But they're just cardboard, which is kind of... I guess kind of cool, kind of not cool. And then I believe this is just, yeah, so this is just a plain mat. It's just paper. Not really like one of those premium ones that you get. Um, so we'll just throw that to the side too. We'll jump into the actual theme deck here. Low on nine tails. Some cards are back, oh, just the energy cards, I think. I don't know, that was weird. Some of them are backwards, some of them are right side up. So yeah, just, just exactly what you, that's weird. It says burning shadows, but we got Crimson Invasion um, sun and moon cards, so it's not just strictly burning shadows, you got some from a couple of the different sets, so Crimson Invasion, um, sun and moon is in there, burning shadows is in there, but yeah, exactly what you think it would be. Uh, a lot of basic, a lot of fire and ice Pokemon. And obviously doubles of a lot of them because it's building the deck. All right. Enough of that. I'll slide that here. Slide that over to the side. We just got four Sun and Moon packs that we'll get into as well. This I've actually been waiting um, to open up. So this I actually got off of Amazon for $22, including shipping, which I thought was actually a pretty, pretty decent deal. Um, 
it's the shipping that costs the most. I think there's, I think it's like ten dollars in shipping or almost eleven dollars in shipping. But you get three Crimson Invasion um, packs. But then you also get two theme decks as well. So another, I think another little cool thing, which these go for 15 alone, I believe, from what I've seen. So let's open this up. Which I believe it's gonna be kind of similar to the last one where, yeah, so you get just a regular paper play mat. Um, looks like they put just one, which is kind of weird. So they put one box in here that you can create your own. Again, damage counters are just push out ones. Start here, don't shuffle the decks. Each player takes a deck. And then guys, it goes alone. So yeah, there's two different theme decks in there, I believe. The rules. And the rules again. So that's kind of cool. Kind of explains what cards are in each one, kind of what they do. Um, Things like that. So there. I just want to kind of touch you guys down a little bit farther. There's another code card. Um, I'm not going to open these just because I'm trying to save a little bit of time. The Raichu coin plastic, but still really cool. Yeah. I think, and then we got the two decks. Actually, I'll, let's see, can I make it quick? If I can make it quick, I'll open one. I'll open the Raichu one, because everybody knows Pikachu's my favorite, and then so Raichu is obviously second, which, boom, there's another Pikachu in there. So I can add that to the collection. These actually look like they're... I don't know if you can actually... These aren't really a set, it's just 30 of 30. And then 30 of 30, so both of these just make one deck. And then you're able to go play from there, so... I think it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, let's dive into, let's go Crimson Invasion. We got seven packs here. Let's see what we can't pull. From what I heard, Sun and Moon, oh, go this way, there we go. Sun and Moon is the hardest to actually pull, pull rates for Sun and Moon are really bad. Ooh, Milk Tank. Everybody loves a good milk tank. Swell Blue, pump, pump Kaboo, Execute, Weedle. Oh, okay. It's a nice little double banger right there. We got it, the Aloan Marowak and the Counter Energy. Nice little, dude, that's a sweet hollow. That is, see, I don't know why, but. I feel like they've gotten lazy when it comes to like the regular hollows. Um, maybe it's just me. I know a lot of people aren't sought after or aren't really going, oh, that's really tight. All right, we're just not gonna put them in the ideal fits right now. We'll just leave them out. Um, I know people aren't really go sought after the hollows, but I still think it's a pull, especially when the artwork is that cool. That's just, that's sweet. It's not bad. Nice little double pull right off the bat. Nope, oh, kind of saw that. There's the code card. Oh, 
Haunter. I was hoping there was going to be a Gengar in this set, but there's not. Ooh, normal reverse in Gorgeis, non hollow. But even even the reverse hollows are just, in my opinion, better in the older sets from well from Sun and Moon and older. Realistically, they just they shine a lot better. This way. <laughs> you would have thought I would have learned from the the second one, but which I forget. I think green and black means there's nothing. Cause I forget the code card trick on this one. So we got a graveler reverse hollow and primate non hollow. Let's see. I just think the reverse hollows and the reflection on them 10 times better than. All right, so we'll move these ones out of the way. We'll jump into a sun and moon base. Oops. Let's try to keep this video a little shorter, but there we go. They keep switching it per one. It's I don't know why they do that. Papa Bayo, Zubat, Shelter, Young Goose, Cosmo with the reverse, and Harry Yama, non hollow. Got it right now. Oh, that one. There's one card that is beat. Poly World Nest Ball. Bet you it's the trainer. But that's okay. Sandal Day Tricks non hollow and Lantern non hollow. Some of these are really beat too. Which probably just means they've been sitting on a shelf. These guys probably weighed these ones, to be honest. These are ones that, yeah, that one looks like it's freaking resealed. Definitely love that. This is typically why I don't buy packs off of eBay. Um... I was originally just going to do a video of how far does a hundred dollars go on eBay if you're just trying to, oops, um, if you're trying to start collecting this set. I'm guessing these have all been weighed, resealed, and I know exactly who I bought these from. Rare Can Reverse and Cosmo Non Hollow. So I have a feeling we're not going to pull anything just because I know that package was definitely resealed. That one I can't really tell. I mean. I don't know if that looks like water damage. This one doesn't seem resealed. It just, I don't know, maybe, it, that's weird, I've never seen a package like that. Oops, yeah, there's not gonna be anything in this one either. Especially because the last card is Beat the crap too. Drowsy. Lincor. Nothing special on those ones. So like I said, that's why you don't buy them unless if they're in the cardboard, which obviously they can still reseal them in the cardboard, but 
definitely the pull of the video, the Olowen Marowak. See, the hollows just hit different from older generations, man. That's just a cool card, but yep, that's going to do it for the end of the video. Um, if y'all enjoyed it, smash the like button, hit the subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys thought about the, what, about the polls, about the theme decks, if it's something you guys actually do or jump into or not. So, um, but yeah, that's it until next time. See y'all.